Hi everyone, here's what's bothering me today. John Ware is one of the greatest cowboys ever anywhere in North America, and he's a black man, and the fact that more of us don't know about him is definitely what's bothering me today. So, John Ware was born in 1845. Uh, he was born, again, notice the trend here, as a slave in the United States. Now, he gained his freedom at the end of the American Civil War with the Emancipation Proclamation, and this leads him on his journey that would ultimately lead him to Canada and many impressive legends. Now, um, originally born, and we're not entirely sure where, we just know he was emancipated, he drifted westward into, you know, cattle ranching country. And so he eventually found work on a ranch in Fort Worth, Texas, and uh, he pro he would eventually prove himself to be a very capable cowhand. Now, uh, by the 1870s, he was already known within uh, parts of the cowboy community as a very reliable and dependable cowboy. And so he was hired in 1882 to help bring 3,000 heads of cattle from the U.S. to a man named Hugh Allen in uh, like at his Northwest Cattle Company in this area that is in modern Southwest Calgary. Now, um, he noticed when he got there and after doing the successful cattle train, he noticed that experienced cowboys were in high demand. And by this point, he had decades of experience as a cowboy. So he decided to stay. Uh, and he would participate in several roundups, both in Alberta and in cross-border areas such as Montana. Now, um, he married a woman named Mildred Lewis in 1892, and they had six children. And uh, he built his own house, you know, out on the prairie. But I want to share with you some of the legends that came about of John Ware. So, John Ware... For whatever reason, a lot of the story seemed to focus on his strength and skill with cattle and horses. So here are some of the things said about John Ware that make this cowboy look like an awesome superhero. It was said that uh, he could walk over the backs of penned steers without fear. It was also said that he could stop a steer head on and wrestle it to the ground. He could also break the wildest of Broncos, and he could hold a horse on its back to be shod with horseshoes. It was also said that he could easily lift an 18-month-old steer and throw it on its back for branding. Now, as with all legends, these are clear exaggerations, but it would also show that the man was a strong man and well-respected by his fellow cowboys, many of whom were black, but many more of whom were also white, and he had earned their respect through his feats of strength and through his capability as one of the greatest cowboys you've never heard of. He ultimately ended up retiring to his, you know, quiet little ranch outside of Calgary, and here's where his story comes to a rather inglorious end. Um... He died in 1905 when his horse tripped in a badger hole and fell on him. The man who could, you know, wrestle steers to the ground, throw horses and steers on their backs, crushed to death by a horse as it tripped in a badger hole. It's a little, you know, anticlimactic. And so this, I, I guess, brings us to the question of his legacy. Now... Lots of people seem to think that, you know, black people are only in certain areas and didn't have much history to do before, you know, being freed, right? That's the unfortunate narrative that persists. I think with the various legends of John Ware's show and the fact that we don't talk about him and that he's not this kind of prairie folk hero speaks to the legacy of white supremacy and white focus that plagues Canada and the United States to this day. John Ware is one of the greatest, most impressive cowboys anywhere in North America. 
and yet most people haven't heard of him. In fact, we're more familiar with fake cowboys than we are this actual legend of a man who absolutely deserves his own movie. I think more people should come to recognize John Ware as this prairie folk hero, sing songs about him, create songs, tell his legends, tell his tale, because it shows the richness and the complexity of Canadian history and how it is tied to slavery both here and in the United States and how people like John Ware can still do incredible things in the wake of that and these incredible things that should be celebrated as a part of our collective shared history. And the fact that we don't know about this awesome cowboy is definitely what's bothering me today. <laughs>